Morning, morning. I had to look at my watch to see what time it was. And it is still morning. Well, in about 10 minutes it'll be afternoon. I'm getting a late start. But, I have some things on my mind. Last few mornings, it's been kind of more, uh, kind of cold. The afternoons have been great. As much as I hate to say, I wished it was like that all the time. Really cool mornings. And then, fantab fantastic, fabulous afternoons. Anyway, I have some things on my mind, and I've given myself about 10 minutes to say it. First thing, if you like the videos, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell over there, and I'm going to try to remember, I'll post this video and then later add it. I'm going to put an iCard right up there to remind you to take a look at that video on my eyeball. Uh, here's a needle in your eye, part two. There's no sound to it. There's no talking. Just I just added music to it. But let me know what you think. what the uh, optometrist told me. And I have to give kudos to uh, NSU Optometry and Dr. Nate Blattenizer. It was interesting. Still interesting. But anyway, that's not what I was going to talk about. Posted on my Facebook. A big thank you to all of those that that helped me. To those that seem to seem to me always know when I'm struggling. Seems to know when I am depressed. I need somebody to talk to. I thank you. But I'm going to change my roles around a little bit. Even though this is John Conrad Farms and it's just not all about the farm. What we do in life, what we say in life, people read us. May be an influence to others. I'm going to start on my vlog here. I may tell a story. It may be true. It may be, not, may be something I heard. Or just something I thought of. you to tell me what you think. There's a man that tells a story. It may be a five minute story. It may be a 20 minute story on YouTube. And I have to give him kudos because I really like listening to him. I can't play no music on a guitar or, or a harmonica. It's just me and what you see. Uh, you 
may see me driving down the road on, on a tractor. Or you may see me here in my truck going to a friend's house. I'm actually going to work at a friend's house. Uh, you may see me doing a vlog here at the cemetery I'm passing by. Or here in front of the church where I've been, where I've been going. Uh, might be in my house. Me standing standing in front of my kitchen window. You can see the dogs behind me, or two of them at least. If I say something to offend you, make you angry, leave me a comment. I had a therapist say one time, if I say something to you and you get angry or you get mad, it must be the truth. And all you want to do is hear lies to make it sound like the truth. There's those that's out there, and they know who I'm talking about if they watch this, that will tell you anything to make themselves look good. I'm not afraid to tell you that I struggle every day to make money. I struggle every day with depression. I struggle every day to try to make myself healthier or do healthier things. I even struggle reading the Bible. I even struggle to pray. I know God is there. And I talk to Him every day. Even if it's not a prayer, I talk to Him. It may be something that He doesn't want to hear me say, but He hears me. I struggle in my walk with God every day. I believe in God. I'm baptized in His Word. But for you guys that know me personally, have been around me, my vocabulary doesn't show that I work, I walk with God. And I struggle with everything that I've mentioned. I'm a sinner. And that's what that's why Jesus died on that cross. was for me, you, everybody around this world. But we have to take his name and value to our to be our savior. To be baptized in the word by water us clean. Take communion with those that are that are also believers and been baptized in the word and by water. If you can say I have been baptized by a preacher in the word in water 
being you're a believer of Jesus Christ. If you believe in Jesus but have not been baptized by water in the Word, then you're just a believer. I heard a preacher say that one time. I was a kid. I was a 15-year-old, know-it-all kid. I turned 19. And I sat and thought about it really hard for about six months about what I heard. May 19th, 1990, I was baptized in that word. Baptized in the Illinois River by my uncle, Joe Wayne Jordan, pastor of, was the pastor of the Scrapper Christian Church. There's not a day that goes by that I think about that. I think about all the wrongs that I did. All those wrongs in the past, I may not be able to make right, but now it's time for me to try to make right to those that I wronged back then. Some of those people have passed away. Some of those people have wrote me off. And some of those people still hold grudges. Some of those people I've mentioned are friends, family, and really close friends. Those friends and family and really close friends, if you don't have forgiveness in your heart, you'll never forgive me. You'll never forgive yourself. You'll hold that grudge forever. I didn't mean for this to end up to being a sermon, but it's what's on my mind and my heart right now. I have gone three minutes past my due time. I will be posting this sometime today or tomorrow morning. And if I can, I'll leave a little iCard right up there or even the video somewhere in on here at the end about part two. Here's a needle in your eye. Have a blessed day. And I hope whoever was out there listening to this, that watched this, gives you some thought, some feelings. Leave me a comment. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that little notification bell, and I will talk to you all next time.